This is the Huawei Mate 30 Pro and I've been using it the last month without Google mobile services. So what has life been without Google? If you're interested in buying the Huawei Mate 30 and if you're thinking how life will be if you don't install Google, this is the video for you. Let's go. Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so. We do constant giveaways here. In fact, we're giving away Easy 500 Stone, a shopping spree over at the outlet, all of the good stuff. Subscribe now, follow me on the IG, join our Facebook community, all the links to my socials, including my Twitter account, down below. So what I'll do for today's video is we will go over the pros and cons of using the Huawei Mate 30 Pro without Google mobile services. As you guys know, the epic war between China and the US has Huawei at the center. They are kind of in like a proxy battle and that's the reason why a lot of US companies cannot provide services to Huawei, including Google. So what are the pros? The first pro is the camera. This is the one of the best cameras in a smartphone smartphone today be it for photos or for videos i actually did a review uh, on the huawei mate 30 pro where i talked about how amazing this was to take video during the lazada show i was so far away but the three times optical zoom allowed me to be able to take photos and videos as if i was super close to the stage so the output great uh, you know the great photos great videos of several artists dancing about and it's really just a testimony to how good the camera setup is in the huawei mate 30 pro you don't need google for that you just need need amazing sensors next is the stunning display it is really one of the most gorgeous screens that you will ever set your eyes on coupled with the amazing design that they have for the hardware i think a lot of the phones today are moving towards more art than they are just function and you get to see that with the artistry that's what was that was put into building and designing the ergonomics and the overall feel the premium feel of the huawei mate 30 pro another pro is that not having google is not apocalyptic in the sense that the phone becomes unusable in fact a lot of the applications and a lot of the stuff that you usually use you can still use and even there are workarounds to being able to access Google services such as YouTube and Gmail without necessarily having to go through an app. And those are the things that we'll be talking about in the cons section. Now, the first con is obviously there is no Google Play. And without Google Play, you cannot do not have access to all of the applications that are being sold on and uh, that are being uh, that allow you to download on your smartphone Android device. Now, the good news is there are alternatives. You have the Huawei App Gallery, you have APK Pure, and a bunch of other third-party app services, app download sites that you can use to be able to download your favorite app apps that aren't included in the Huawei app gallery because here's the thing a lot of the local apps are now starting to pop out on the Huawei app gallery BDO BPI a bunch of the other local apps but some of the essentials such as Facebook Twitter Instagram to name a few aren't found on the Huawei app gallery so for you to be able to access applications such as IG like the one that I have here or Facebook you need to get it from APK Pure or other third-party uh, app stores. Now, how do you do that? In my in my experience, I just downloaded it from APK Pure. I put it on the browser, Googled it. Then it allowed me to download their app, which allowed me to get all of the applications in their app store afterwards. So in short, without having Google mobile services, I have Facebook, I have Messenger, I have Twitter, I have Instagram, and most of the other applications that I use every day getting it from different sources such as APK Pure as well as the Huawei App Gallery. Now, the one thing that I really can't find, that I really couldn't find the workaround initially without in installing, you know, creatively Google mobile services is being able to access the apps of Google without having to go through a browser. So I couldn't go, you know, download YouTube and make it run properly. I couldn't download Gmail and make it run properly. I was stuck with the Huawei browser because I couldn't get Chrome. And those were the main issues that I had to contend with. However, there is a workaround. You can actually go to just YouTube via the browser, which kind of works. Unfortunately, it's not the full featured YouTube experience. For example, uh, YouTube Premium, which I am a member of, doesn't work properly on the Huawei browser. Uh, you can also go to Gmail via the browser and a lot of the other Google apps 
via the browser. And you can just create shortcuts so that it kind of mimics the app experience. Is it ideal? No. Does it work? Yes. By the way, one annoying thing is that because I don't have Google Mobile, Google Mobile services installed, I couldn't properly get Swift Key to run. So I couldn't use the layouts of the keyboards that I wanted to with this phone, which is that that was actually the most annoying part. Uh, being able to access YouTube on a browser was workable. Gmail on a browser was acceptable, but not getting my Swift Key, the keyboard that I've been using on all of my Android phones for the last decade was just kind of, you know, annoying. Now, apart from that, uh, it's pretty much your typical Android smartphone with an amazing camera. The joke is this is a camera with a phone versus a phone having a camera, and that still holds true today. The, the, the optics of this device is really what will make you want to buy it. Uh, the display, the design, the camera, those are the top three things you need to know about the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. Of course, the power is there, the best processor ever that you can find from a Huawei device is here. So whatever game you want to play, as long as you can either sideload it, then it should be pretty good. Now here's the good news. You don't have to live without Google. You don't have to do the no Google challenge just because you have a Mate 30 Pro because there is a workaround. You can actually, like what I recently did yesterday, find a way to install Google mobile services and have the Play Store on your phone. And when you have the Play Store on your phone, you have Gmail, you have YouTube, you have YouTube Studio, you have all the applications that you can normally get from the Play Store. And yes, you can get Swift Key keyboard to work. Now, if you are curious on how to be able to install Google mobile services on your Huawei Mate 30 Pro, I will put a link down below to the guide that I followed. I won't recreate it anymore. All you guys have to do is to watch that one or to read the guides and you should be able to do it on your device as well. So what is my verdict for the Huawei Mate 30 Pro? Uh, the no Google challenge? Well, it's not as bad as you thought it would be because there are workarounds, but I really feel that not a lot of people will have the patience and will have the third determination to, to see that through. And sometimes it might be too off-putting for them to make that decision to buy the Huawei Mate 30 Pro in the first place. However, once you get around to it, once you find the workarounds, or if ever you go to the point where you install Google mobile services and it becomes a full-blown Android phone for you, uh, it's actually a pretty solid phone. In my opinion, one of the best Android smartphones to come out for 2019. So do I recommend the Huawei Mate 30 Pro? If you have the patience to be able to put Google mobile services or if you have somebody that you know who can do it for you, the answer is yes, because it really is an amazing device. However, if you don't have anybody, if you don't know anyone and you can't probably, you know, if you think you don't, you can't do the simple step-by-step -step guide, step-by-step -step process on how to install Google, then you're probably better off trying out other devices. Because at the end of the day, while it is workable to live without Google, it's still the best experience to have it on an Android phone. The Huawei Mate 30 Pro is available here in the Philippines. Just drop by any Huawei shop and they should have it for you. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed our video for today. Peace, God bless, what's up, as usual, boom.